Pakistan government has decided to ban former Prime Minister Imran Khan's party, Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf. According to Pakistani media, the Pakistan Information Minister has said that the decision was taken in light of the former ruling party's involvement in the May 9 events. My colleague Pradeep Datta is joining us with the details of that big update. Uh, Pradeep, this is going to be a big setback for Imran Khan. What is the decision? What is the latest on the decision being taken by the Pakistan government deciding to ban the political outfit? Yes, you're absolutely right. This is going to be a big jolt for Imran Khan and his party and other colleagues who had been trying their level best to once again come back to power. Where Pakistan has decided to ban Pakistan Tariq and Saf. The charges that is leveled against the parties that they were involved in writing, as we saw that a few months back, how the Imran Khan party supporters, they have come out and they have targeted many of the army and security installations. The second big charge against them is that they had been getting the funds from the sources that are illegal in Pakistan. And third, they were involved in the international activity. But if we look at the, if we talk Talk to the analysts and the observers there, they say that because uh, somewhere the Nawaz Sharif government, uh, that is a weak coalition, they were facing a kind of a problem ever since the Supreme Court last Friday gave a decision that they said that Imran Khan's party is uh, eligible to have uh, more 20 seats meant for the women and the minorities. So that would have ramped up the pressure on the government. That's one of the reasons that they have decided to ban this party. Now they have uh, Ataullah Tarar, who is the minister in the uh, Nawaz Sharif, in the Shabazz Sharif cabinet, he has made it clear that they if required, they will even go to the cabinet and even to the Supreme Court. We know that Imran Khan is in jail since last August because just a few days back he was acquitted on the charges that uh, his marriage with uh, uh, was not illegal. But again, he was arrested on some other charges. We have seen that last time when the elections were held in the month of February, many okay. of uh, his party people were not allowed to contest polls, so they contested as illegal candidates. The reason is obvious, that if you fall out with the army, you are not going to survive. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it is the Pakistan army that calls short. And Imran Khan's only mistake was that he crossed the li red line of just yes. uh, falling out with the Pakistan army and started dictating them terms which was not liked by the Pakistan chief of army staff and mm. inter-service intelligence. That was one of the reasons that we saw that what actually the problem Imran Khan faced. Though okay. he was himself uh, that and selected not elected when 2018 he came to power and remained there for 2022. Mm. But now I think this clearly indicates that there is no democracy in Pakistan. Whatever we see is a sham democracy Absolutely. and they should stop giving lectures to India about the democracy and democratic rights. The country that is banning the second yes. largest opposition party in the country. Not allowing it will be interesting to country. now see what will be the response of the Pakistan Tehreek in Saf. But yes, you uh, like you mentioned, the government's move is an indication of the democratic values that are held in Pakistan. Pradeep, we'll have to leave it at that. Thank you for joining us with those details.